quick scan of the departures terminal and it's not hard to find fed up passengers. You know, it's not just me alone. There's a child, my wife is traveling with us. You know, it's frustrating, especially for a child. Flights have been delayed, then cancelled, delayed and cancelled again. This minor hockey team was afraid they'd miss a major tournament in Calgary before finally getting a last minute flight. It's tough. I mean, it's something that these guys have looked forward to. It's an invite only tournament, so we were fortunate enough we're the only Ontario team going. The backlog after several days of severe winter weather has also marooned hundreds of Canadians abroad, including Rob McClinton and his family, without a flight for six days in Putacana, now rationing their infant daughter's formula. So we can't really drive into a store and buy formula because we don't have that time or that ability because we're always waiting if we're getting picked up and jump on a flight that day. Same for hundreds of Canadians in Cancun who showed up angry at the airport after Sunwing cancelled flights. The company says it's trying its best to arrange hotels and transfers. While air travelers are stranded here at Pearson, many hoping to travel by train are also stuck. There's still no via service between Toronto and Ottawa or Toronto and Montreal after a CN train derailed on Christmas Eve. After some riders reported being stranded for more than 18 hours, Via Rail says those trains will be up and running on a modified schedule on Tuesday. Even local travel is still a slog for the town of Fort Erie, Ontario, hit with massive power outages and whiteout conditions. It's quite startling the number of abandoned vehicles on the, on the roads. Uh, some of them near intersections, in the middle of intersections, uh, some blocking parts of roads. The mayor says cleanup will take several days, but worries about the next big dump of snow. Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.